Previously on Brick Attack. This is Lego Technic set 42063 BMW R1200 GS Adventure. What is this though? I have never in my life seen this before. This is cut. Yeah, that totally happened. First time I've ever gotten a shredded manual from Lego in all the sets we've opened. Luckily, I was able to get on and chat with Lego customer service, even when they weren't open. Such amazing customer service there, and they offered to make it right. And I finally got it. It took a long time to get here, but I got my replacement manual, and I thought it opened up with you, and hopefully they sent me the right thing. So let's take a look. It'd be hilarious if this one was shredded too. Perfecto. No problems at all. Not that I really needed this because as you can see here, I've already built the set. There's really no problem seeing the instructions through the cut there, but it was just the principle of the thing. And a lot of people told me that I should get a hold of customer service. And once again, they made it right for me. They even included a nice little letter with this piece of black tape here. It covers up my full name, which you guys don't need, but this says, we're sorry there was something wrong with your new Lego set. The parts you need are in with this letter so you can get building and have fun. Well, they know I already built it, but we really try hard to make sure all Lego toys are perfect and we take it very seriously when a faulty one sneaks through. Controlling the quality of the toys that leave our factory is a big job and we spend a long time trying to get it right. We have a whole department of experts and machines, Terminators probably, who like nothing better than to catch any faulty Lego sets and we've passed your comments onto them, it'll help them make sure this doesn't happen again. Again, probably Terminators that find problems like this and blast people that are responsible. Please let us know if you need anything else. You'll find our contact details at the bottom of this letter. If you get in touch, please quote your order number. Booyah, there it is guys. As you can tell, I'm very happy to have a nice manual to add into my collection. I can get rid of that one with the rip in it. And I wanna say this, it's very easy to talk about companies that have bad customer service because it happens all the time. But with Lego, every time that I've contacted them, it's been a great experience. The first time I think that I called them was about a year ago, I was placing an order and I realized after I placed it that I forgot to put a $10 set in there. I think it was the Thanksgiving set from last year. And I called them up. The guy that I talked to was really nice. He actually spoke English, had no problems understanding him. And he was just like, okay, we'll add it to your order. Did it up, had no problems. And I got everything all in one bunch and it was perfect. Other times that I've had to interact with them is when I pieces have been missing from the sets, actual missing pieces, not ones that I've lost in most cases. And they've gotten to me again. It takes a while when you get replacement stuff like this and with pieces, it takes a while to get there, but Lego always makes things right. And that's something that I really appreciate them. So while they do kind of have high prices in some cases, I do feel like the customer service and the quality that comes with what you pay with Lego is totally worth it. So there is my positivity for Lego today. If anybody needs a manual that uh, has a shred in it here, let me know. Probably not. Probably costs more to ship this to you than it's worth. I'm going to put this back on my shelf over there. Kept this thing on display because it's just a fantastic model. If any of you guys are thinking about getting this set, once again, it is Lego Technic set 42063. This is the BMW R1200 GS Adventure motorcycle. It was actually on sale on Black Friday, so you did have a chance to get it then. I should have made a video about it. I apologize, guys. While we're on the topic of Technic sets, I figured why don't we turn this into a two-part video and I'll show you the Technic set that I built last night on a live stream. This is Lego Technic set 8847. This is titled Dragster from 1983, 250 pieces. This is from the Pops Log, one of the last remaining sets. This is what it's supposed to look like, and this is what it looks like in real life. It's very close, but there was a piece that was missing, and this was a big part of the live stream last night. You see the engine back here, this piece right here. There's supposed to be another one right there, and we didn't have the very top piece of that, which was a problem, so I just took the whole piston out, and I put it somewhere. I'm looking for it. It's right here. I just took this out. We're missing that top piece, so it was kind of just dangling around in there, which we don't need, but this thing is pretty cool. This is 35 years old, and this is what Technic was back in the day. It does have working steering, and I could probably show that to you a little better if we come up here. So the steering wheel is supposed to have a rubber piece on it like these tires, but that was another thing that I was missing was that piece. Not a huge deal there. In fact, I think it probably looks better without it. But as you can see, these gears turn that, which turns that, and then that turns the steering, and it works really well. The steering actually feels really great. In the back here, move some things around to make this look proper. We've got this whole situation. This right here, I do not like. I had a heck of a time setting these things, and inside the instruction manual, it was really hard to tell with the angle exactly where those were. And I guess this would be a good opportunity to show you the manual. This is what it looks like, and it's still in great shape for being as old as it is, there is a small tear in the middle of it here, which is not the biggest of deals, but here we go. Here's step nine. Maybe it's just me, but when I was looking at this last night, I was trying to figure out exactly where those yellow pieces are supposed to sit. There was a whole bunch of options in between the two blue pieces there, and I think I got it right, but if you wanna see a little bit closer, the piece we're missing, it was this one right here. That's what we were missing. And someone looked it up on BrickLink for me. It's a seven cent piece, which isn't a huge deal. Not one that I have in my collection though, because it's kind of a rarity and what the old engines were like. 
this is what it is. So I was missing that. And this is kind of cool how this folds out like this. From looking at this though, I really do have to appreciate modern Lego instructions. I think they do a much better job these days. There's an alternate build on this as well, which I showed last night. It's kind of a three-wheeler trike type thing. I like everything about it except for that really tiny front wheel up there. Very odd. And then the handlebar is a little crazy too. But if you're trying to build a second thing out of this, there's instructions for that as well. So it is a two-in-one. They used to do that 35 years ago. But this thing, really cool design, the way they did the front of this kind of hinges in to make this smaller because they're using the most basic of pieces. There's no like wedge shapes or anything like that. And I like the look of it. I like the red, white, and blue. I'm gonna try to show the engine working here for you. This is probably the most awkward way that I could do this, but rolling it around just isn't an option when I'm trying to film it. You can see the piston going up and down inside there. Back here, you don't see anything in there, unfortunately, but there is a chain in the back. And as I spin this, you can see how it goes. I think the best way to show this is from the bottom and you can see all the gears working in tandem there. And you can see the piston, at least on this side, going up and down. Unfortunately, this one's blank, but it doesn't impact it not having it in there. It just doesn't make it quite as realistic, but that's how everything moves around. And one thing that I did want to show you is if you'd move one wheel, nothing happens. Isn't that kind of neat? The way they have this back set up here. So you need traction on both wheels and it spins. And I think you can run it in reverse too. Yeah, everything kind of works. Another thing that isn't true to the set is this piece right here. It's supposed to be one piece, but it's broken into two. It still looks the same though. And everything else is as is, just those couple little things. But you can't complain about a set that's 35 years old missing two or three pieces, not a huge deal. But look at this thing on display. Does that not look awesome? I think it does. We'll find that extra piece and I'll try to put that in there, add it to the set. I should probably add the extra little tire onto it too and put that on the steering wheel. Anything else that's missing from this? I don't think so. But there you go. That's Lego Technics at 8847 Dragster. And I made a joke in the live stream last night. This is back when you could just title things Dragster. Like old video games, I was joking around about how you could just title a video game football back in the day or baseball or hockey or whatever. And now it has to be this very specific thing because there's so many dang games and stuff out there. But this is the Dragster, the Technic Dragster. And very cool. I want to thank Pops for sending this over to us. Really appreciate him sending that and hope you enjoyed this little second part of our video here today. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this little two for one deal. Remember Lego has great customer service, but also has Terminators working for them. And also remember Technic sets were still good even 35 years ago. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.